In this video, we'll be taking a look at a technique you can use to create an unlimited amount of animated motion design backgrounds. What's up everyone, hope you're doing well. My name is Sean Gonsalves from Animation Deconstructed and if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you know when I release new videos. Now you've already seen the intro video so you know where we're going with this but I want you to take away that with very few tweaks you can create an unlimited amount of backgrounds for your motion design projects. Make sure to watch till the end because I do have a bonus technique which I want to share with you which wasn't going to be part of this tutorial in the beginning. But let's jump straight into the tutorial and start creating the texture which will drive this whole effect. So in After Effects, we're going to create a new composition. Let's just call this background. It's 1920 by 1080p, 30 frames per second and 10 seconds long. I'm going to press OK. And we want to create a whole bunch of circles on this background. We're going to go to the top and if this ellipse tool is not selected for you, just hold down and go down to ellipse tool, press OK. We want to hold shift so you can constrain proportions. You can also hold down the shift at the same time to move this around and then just let go once you're done. Now, if you carry on drawing straight away, it's gonna create ellipses right on the same layer. We don't want that. We want to have our ellipses on separate layers. So I'm gonna go Control Z. An easy way to move through this is by using the V key to change to your pointer tool, deselect by clicking and press the Q button so that you select the last shape layer tool that was selected. Then you can create another circle and move along. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just create a whole bunch of circles, move them around until I'm happy. It doesn't need to be like I have it and this will definitely change the way your background looks. So see you back here in a few seconds. Okay, so I've got a whole bunch of circles here and just note that what I didn't say is just make sure there's no strokes on this. So select all of these, you can do it all at once and just turn the stroke off and make sure that you just have a fill. And this fill can be any color that you want. Also, if you want a different look, you can change the circle to be a star or a square later so that uh, it will make the background look a lot different. Now with this, let's just add a fill effect. Let's make this black. And then I wanna add a drop shadow. So down here, perspective, drop shadow. And I wanna make this white. And if I just click on the transparency grid, you can see that we've got this black circle still there. And then take the opacity up of the drop shadow and just push the distance out. And then just play with the angles of these for your layers. And then you can just shift select both effects, control C to copy, click another one of these circles, paste, and then you can just change the actual distance and the angles just to get different looks on every one of these. Now, something I want you to note is don't let these overlap on the left and right. I wanna be able to create a loopable texture so that once it starts moving, we can loop it over the 10 second mark. Now copy that effect over to every single layer except for this one here. I just wanna invert this to give it something different. So I'm gonna paste this, make the full white and make the drop shadow black. And then I just want to have this eat in on this circle right here. So I'm going to push it to the right and just drag up on the distance. So the next thing I want to do is select all the layers because I want to create a looping texture of this moving left. Let's just zoom out slightly so that we can move these over. I'm going to press Control D to duplicate, change the layer color to something else and just pull it so it pops up to the top. I just drag this up, you'll see what I mean. Next thing, go to layer, new null object, select all the top duplicates, parent these to the null object, press the P key, turn on the stopwatch, move over to 10 seconds and we're gonna move this over 1920. I'm gonna go over here and press right and then minus 1920. Then I'm gonna come down here to these layers, select all of them and parent them to the null. With this done, let's select everything. So Control A, Control Shift C to pre-compose. Let's call this circles, press enter. And then let's just add a directional blur to this to start creating the background. And let's just directional blur. We'll click on that. Hold Shift and move to the right to get 45 degrees. I'm going to zoom back in and just drop this down so you can see my composition better. And then I'm going to change the blur length. Let's just drag this right up 
Holding shift will really take it up quicker. So almost get to about 600. This should be good, 586. That looks pretty good to me. Now that we have the base of this effect, let's add the color and the distortion so that this motion design background comes to life. So let's add some color to this. I'm going to right click in the timeline panel, go new, solid, and call this BG for background. And I'm gonna create this as a purple background. Uh, this is already selected from the time I did the demo. Uh, my color is 0F003E. Press OK and OK again. Then drop this to the back. And then our circles layer, because we're working with black and white, we can just add a tint effect to control these colors. Double click to add it. And then I've got two colors written down here. One is a pink, so it is FF008A. Press OK. And then change the white to 008A9A and press OK. You can change these colors as you like. So following this, let's add a wave warp and this will add some animation to the actual color as well as some distortion. And I want this direction to follow the same direction as the directional blur. So I'm going to click this, hold shift and just drag up and it'll snap onto 45 degrees, change the wave height. And then the wave width, let's just drag to the right. Now the wave speed is pretty fast. So let's just take this down to about 0.1 and this will be a lot more subtle. Now you can change the look of this just by adding another distortion effect to this. Let's go to the effects panel, go down to distort and let's choose maybe twirl. And if you wanted to just add some more twirling to this, maybe you wanted to straighten this out to block out some text. You'll see that the effect still works. You can turn this off, add another effect. Let's go to distort and let's add a turbulent displace. This is also a good one to get some great different looks. Maybe you want that ink kind of effect in the background. But using these different distort effects on this layer now, you can create an unlimited amount of motion design backgrounds for your next project. Okay, so with this bonus technique, I wanna show you how you can create a light ray looking background with these colors moving through them constantly. And you can create this in a loopable fashion as well. Now in this bonus section, I want to turn off the wave warp so that we have these kind of straight streaks over here. And I want these colors to be able to move through almost like a colorful light ray pulsing through these light beams. The way we can do this is just by offsetting the layer from the top. So I'm going to actually go to effect, distort and offset. And I'm going to drag this right to the top so that we're working with the circles. And then because this composition is almost twice as wide as it is high, in order for these to look like they're staying static, we need to drop those circles twice as low. So I'm gonna zoom out and you'll see that we actually have this offset little gizmo here. I'm going to keyframe the shift center and then I'm gonna move over to 10 and I'm going to go on the end here, it is 1080. So I'm gonna add 1080 and add another 1080 and press Okay, and if I zoom out, you can see our little gizmo has dropped right to the bottom there. Now, if I press play, you'll see these colors starting to move through these light rays. If you're interested in watching any more of my videos, take a look at one of the two videos popping up on the screen right now. Keep animating, and until next time.